Hi. I have 10 to 12 minutes for this face mask to set in. So, how are you? I have some time to kiki. I did not have a good day today. Like, literally, at all. And I'm so sad because I woke up so excited for today. I took a break from filming Vlogmas for one day. I'm like, I think overall it will be better for everybody involved, including you, if I take a break like every seven days to give myself, you know, like time to chill, relax, enjoy, smell the flowers, yada yada, and come back to filming like a little bit less overwhelmed. Not that I even am. I've actually been really enjoying filming so much. It's so fun, but I wanted a day to chill. Anyways, I set my day with such good intentions, like so excited to have a good day. And I got in a fight with somebody in my personal life and I'm just like, if there's any day to have a fight, it really, like it should not be today. But anyways, it just felt like one of those situations where you fight with somebody and once the dust settles a little bit, it's like, hey, I really didn't want to be fighting anymore. Like, let's resolve this. Let's make it better. But it kind of felt like the person I was dealing with just wanted to be right. And when you're in a situation like this, there's kind of like not much you can do. Um, what I try to do is I'll try to say at the top of the conversation, like at the end of this, if we're going to sit down and we're going to talk, let's make sure that we listen to each other speak. We mirror what we're saying. We really try to get into the other person's shoes. And at the end of this conversation, let's be partners, let's be good, let's be like regular, let's make this better. Like let's both sit down and come to the understanding that by the end of this, things are gonna be okay. And you kind of get the other person on board by saying that in the beginning. And usually this works. Anytime Something happens, you could say just one little quick sentence. Hey, I know we're both upset right now, but by the end of this, I believe in us, we could put this aside. This is silly, whatever. Let, you know, something inspiring and awesome that you say at the top of the combo, set the tone, whatever. But I could tell from the beginning, this person just wanted to be right. Just, it felt like they just wanted to hear themselves talk and they just did not have any interest in being nice, you know? Um, so that kind of just threw off my whole day and I'm so sad because I was so excited for today. Anyways, I'm watching the Britney Spears documentary right now, the Netflix one, and it's cheering me up. I feel like as adults, we don't have the liberty to let our personal life affect us too much. Like we kind of have to master turning our mood back around so we can go back to being productive and getting things done because we got bills to pay. Like I remember in high school, like wouldn't you get so invested in like the most random drama that would take up like three days of your life? We can't do that anymore. It's just a fact of life. But the red flag for me is if the person you're dealing with can't at least a little bit like take some responsibility and some acknowledgement of their part and why things are going south, either in the conversation or what occurred or in what you guys are dealing with right now, if they can't take a little bit of that and say, okay, I acknowledge that me handling it in this way was probably not the best way to handle it and it had an impact on the rest of the conversation because of X, Y, and Z, understood, got it moving on. If they can't do a little bit of that and like everything is just, I did nothing wrong, I'm doing nothing wrong, it's all you, the conversation's kind of doomed and it's already kind of shot. Ugh, honestly, no one to jump out of a situation because now here I am having to literally force myself out of being upset over a conversation. And it's like, bitch, I have to work tomorrow. Like the fuck? I don't have time for this shit. This was my Sunday to chill and love life and smell the roses. But I think I'm gonna keep watching the Netflix documentary of Britney Spears' life. It's good, but I feel like it could be a little bit better. Like I've seen better Britney Spears docs and I am so team Britney. Like I love her so much. I just don't know if Netflix's way of approaching it was like my favorite angle. But I'm probably gonna still watch it tonight. And I'm gonna put on my little starlight projector. Maybe I should make myself tea. Operation Turn Your Mood Around. 
I have no choice tonight. Honestly, tomorrow's gonna be a long day. So, tea. Yeah, let's do some tea. This is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine, but late at night, I'll sit on my phone and go on websites of like places that I know I'm not actually gonna buy from. And I'll just look at things, fill a cart and like never check out on it. It's kind of scratches the itch of online shopping without actually online shopping. Cause like you still fill out your cart, you still put looks together, but you never actually buy them. And then it kind of just makes you sleepy and puts you to bed. But I'm on this website, Treasures of NYC, which by the way, should I even post this? I don't know if I want to spill the tea on this one, but it, yeah, whatever. I'll put you on, but it's a good website to get cool vintage designer stuff and just vintage stuff in general that you can't really find anywhere else. And sometimes they'll have good prices, not always, but sometimes they'll have good prices. Anyways, tell me why I found this Dior pink monogram puffer jacket for four grand four grand that looks so similar to the one that I depopped from the kids section for like 200 bucks and had it tailored to my body. I won, finally. I usually am not a good thrifter and this is like my first good thrifting moment. Like I really did that shit. They are selling this for four grand. This is mine. Mine was like 200, 300 bucks. But anyways, I think I'm just gonna keep <laughs> Filling imaginary cards. I think I'm trying to convince myself to like actually buy something right now because there's so many cute things on this website. Another new thing I'm trying to do is shop less on like ch super cheap websites for clothes, like super fast fashion-y ones. Cause you think you're saving all this money by getting so many more clothes for so little after the price, but then they really do be falling apart after two washes. So I'm trying to shop less, way, way, way less and just get better pieces that'll last me longer. <laughs> I do this every time. I'm dying at myself. I will have these conversations with myself and convince myself to do something and then just justify it in my head, but I'm not actually gonna buy any of this shit. I'm just filling up the cart, giving myself ex excuses for why I should purchase the items and then I'm not gonna purchase them. Honestly, really fun. 10 out of 10 would recommend, but I'm gonna go do that, so bye. Good morning. I slept okay last night, but I wanted to start my day with some Starbies. I do have coffee at home, but on a day where I have to get a lot done, I kind of like the movement of leaving my house for 10 minutes and coming back. So like going and grabbing the coffee will get me just like up out of the house at least once since I do work from home. So it's nice to just see the outside world. This morning is so cold and cozy. I love these cozy little mornings with my sweatshirt. Order the hot coffee. Oh god, I get so embarrassed when I vlog and drive in this car because my tints are not that dark in this one. And then I just see all the Arizona people staring at me. They're like, look what are you doing? Like when I was in LA. I could vlog in my car all I wanted and people wouldn't even bat an eye. But here, it's like I'm an alien. Typically this is the decision I have to make. Do I want the cheese and fruit protein box or do I want the bacon gouda breakfast sandwich? Like the cheese and fruit protein box is what I get when I'm feeling like I want to feel skinny and dainty. And then the gouda one is when I just want fuel for the day, girl. Could I please get a grande black coffee with a splash of oat milk? And then I will get a uh, grande iced green tea with no sugar. Do you have the bacon and gouda? Yeah, the bacon yeah, and- we, Yes, we do. Okay. Yep. Okay. And then also a uh, venti iced water. And now let me remove this vlog camera from my dashboard as soon as humanly possible because I am embarrassed to roll up to the function like this. 
Oh, look at how cute these little palm trees are. Every time I come to the Starbucks, I'm like, okay, cute little landscaping. Like, I just love it. Oh my God. Oh my God, my time is running out. <laughs> I do not want to pull up with this contraption. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> look at these trees. Um, I just want to call out Nat for not watching a single Vlogmas video so far. Uh, so if anybody knows a good makeup artist in Scottsdale, <gasps> please let me know. <laughs> That's so wrong. You guys, I was out of town and I'm going to have a marathon tonight. Bitch, she I comes am. in, she's like, I'm like, oh my god, Vlogmas has been so crazy. Like, the videos, she's like, I haven't seen one. This puta. Anyways, today, I didn't say that. She's telling lies. You lit. Okay, what did I say in my last vlog? What did She's I do? Lying. What did I do in my last vlog, Nat? You did a Christmas theme vlog. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, honestly, I did. Today we have a work day. I didn't uh, run you through the list yet today because I figured I would film it because that's Fine. what this video is. Okay, so today, Natalie, get in the frame, you thwarter. Okay, so today we have. I have to do a YouTube short that's going to take me like ten seconds, um, and it has to be like what I would wear to the Streamy Awards, that's gonna be quick. A Lancome TikTok and story, which we're about to do now, which is basically I have to put on the serum and it's all gonna be voiceover, so I have to just put on the serum, get a couple close-up shots of like skin. And then I have a ton of stories that can be in regular natural glam. So this is where we're just gonna be, I'm just gonna bang out in a row. So natural glam for all these, bang them all out, and then Celsius Dermalogica and that's it. Woohoo! Let's do this. I'm so cheesy. I love it. <laughs> I love it too. So on days like this, Nat will come over and we will bang out all of my things that have deadlines on them. And then if we have time at the end, we'll do fun creative glam look to like pop off on the gram. I always make her. She literally forces me. I'm like, I don't want to do it. Or sometimes we'll get halfway through the list. I'll be like, I'll just do this next week. And she's like, no, you're going to do it right now. Um, so she's also my mom. And Nat's favorite thing to say when we're taking pictures. What do I say? <laughs> the butt oh yeah i tell her in the most politely respectful way to like pop her butt spread her legs turn side to side she'll be like just pop your butt so i'm like here and she'll be like pop it more i'm like she'll be like pop it just a little bit more i'm like and then that's how we get the pics okay so we've been having a very productive day so far we got a lot out of the way nat ate this glam up for breakfast lunch and dinner i want to do the big lashes like every time now we used to do them like all the time last year, I feel like. I know, and then I had like a natural kick. You've changed. And now I'm back to my roots. Um, I did want to ask you a couple things while I have you. Nat is like the queen of throwing parties. Oh Tell me about the beer Olympics. Okay, so we did a beer Olympics at my house. And it was pretty much like cornhole, beer pong, flip cup. Um, we did a fun waiter game and we rallied. So my question for you is, Mary Litmus, I just need like your advice, your input on what. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Nat. It's like no. right now, I'll, she already gave me the bartender recommendation, but like what else to make it fun? Okay, so I don't know if you want to like really promote like every couple bring $5 and we'll do a game and then the winner of all the games at the end gets the pot. Ooh. Something like that. That's fun. I feel like you could do fun like Christmas themed games. Okay. There's one game that I thought would be really funny. We actually played it at my friend's baby shower. I should the pictures, right? The balloon one. Oh yeah, where you tie the balloon on the ankle? And, yeah, other people's feet. Or there's one where you get like a tissue box and then you put it on your back and I think you could do like a Christmas prop like candy canes, like mini candy canes. And you pretty much have to twerk to get them all out. And then the first one out wins. I feel like there's like fun games like that that you could play. Honey, do you have any ideas for Mary Litmus? Like what, what are we gonna do? Everybody's dressing like hot and like slightly Christmas themed. Who it's like a holiday everybody? party. I thought four people were coming. You know I invited like the most random ass people. I don't know if people are gonna pull up. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. Everyone says yes, but I don't. We have people literally flying in for this. Like Aiden booked his flight. Ashley and Sebastian are flying. Leia's flying. Leia's coming from Miami? Leia is coming. Damn. Okay. So we need activities to fill the time because like it's so awkward if all we have is a bartender and like nothing else. And we're open to ideas. I think we have a full, we turn this into a poker table set up. I, nobody knows how to play poker. Can we do an easier connect four? Whatever. It can be games, but I'm saying it, it will be like the game table where we can have 
poker available. We can do Monopoly dice? deal, whatever. Like for the guys to play or everybody ends up playing. I think okay. we throw the bartender over there at the dining table. Yes. Oh, that's such a good idea. Over there. Or we even set up the bartender in the office. That is dope. Because you can close it and open, you can go in there. That is dope. To, to grab yourself a drink. And I think you decorate like around the office, all dramatic. Or, or we put like a big old sign. Let me show people. And I have an idea. Up. Wait, before you um, remove my spotlight, I have an idea that we leave a vlog camera set up in the guest bathroom and we put like a sign around it. Like, do you want to be in the vlog? Press the red button. And then everybody can just go in there and like just film random shit. Like, that'd be so funny. Absolutely. Do you want all your hair up? I think so, so that it looks actually like, like you're doing athletic. Something. Yeah. What do we have left? We're taking a Celsius infeed right now, but I feel like this hair is a little. Celsius and Dermalogica, that's it, right? Yeah, we're done after that. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, yeah. Natalie is coming through with the ideas. Listen to this. So she goes, How about you have the bartender make drinks like the Lauren and the Henny? My idea was for Henny's drink to be made with Hennessy, but apparently nobody likes Hennessy. No one, I mean, I don't, do you like Hennessy? No, but then why is it in every f***ing song? Hennessy, you drinking Henny. Because rappers like Henny, I don't know what to tell you. You don't have any rappers coming? <laughs> no, I don't like Henny. I don't think our crew really likes Henny. Okay, so what's the Lauren? Okay, It'll be like so a vodka soda with like a lime skinny drink. or like a something People like that. People do this at weddings, it's their favorite drink. So it's like a special bougie drink and you just call it like the Lauren drink or like Henny's favorite drink. So like when you roll up, you're like, let me get whatever Lauren Concoction it. Like, I feel like it has to be like something like bougie, like a fancy ass martini. Like 1942 like, in it? Yeah. Yeah, like lunch with the And then the Lua inside. could be vodka. No, Lua is, is brown and hyper as f Her drink needs to be the espresso, espresso martini. martini. Okay, massive shout out to Jaded London for finally responding to my DM asking for PR. I think I tried for a couple months and I finally got it. And they went off on this PR round, so let's see what I got. Okay, wait, what is this? This is a... Is this a skirt? <laughs> okay, I don't know what this is, but it's cute. This I was about to buy on the website and I'm so glad I didn't because they sent that shit. Oh, these are the pants? Okay, this is not what I thought it was, but we got these squiggly pants. What is this? Oh, this is a sheer dress. Oh, this is hot. Oh, okay, so this is part of their new Matrix launch. I think it's like a scene from the Matrix. Bomb. Oh, they went off. Top to the pants. Now, call something out if you think we should shoot it, because I'm looking at these and I don't know what, definitely these. Those are fun, yes. The Matrix jeans, lit. Oh, I think this is the top for whatever. Yeah, I can't believe they made a collection all from my Halloween look. This is a top that's confusing to understand. I think this is the boobs and the, yes, and that's the thing. Oh, and this top. We should definitely do, because the look is so dark, we should do this top, these jeans, and do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I'm like, are you filming? <laughs> yes. Can you tell them the lip combo for this? Because even I want to know. This lip combo is everything. Nat and I really like don't go this dark on the looks because we always shoot in the daytime, but today she went all off at the end there. She'd be giving me mad rules all the time. I don't give you, do I give you rules? <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes it's usually natural. I'm like natural glam and that's like, you're so boring. She's like, same time as last time. <laughs> so this is Charlotte Tilbury. Foxy Brown. Foxy Brown with KKW. KKW Nude 4. That's the Gloss, combo. Gloss, no lipstick. Oh, no lipstick? Mm -mm. Period. And you know I taught them the trick to round out the top of the lips? No. I did. Oh yeah, because you haven't seen a vlog in a week. It's because I'm gonna binge. I wanna binge. Like I said, if anybody knows any good makeup artists <laughs> in Scottsdale to replace Nat from my life. I'm kidding, I love her. This is how the pics turned out, but I wanna focus on something else here. I know Instagram can look super glamorous and all these baddies look like we're putting on these bomb ass outfits to live our glamorous lives, but this really is the tea. Especially when I have a ton of brand deals, I will have Nat come in, we'll bang them all out, we'll take pics in these glamorous outfits and go around. She's holding a light in her hand. We have it kind of down at this point, honestly. Like, boom, 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 get the shot, get the shot. Move on to the next look. Change the hair a little bit to make it look like a different day. And then it's back to me 
going on my couch or going on my treadmill and back into the sweatpants. And I'm not saying this to be a pick me girl and be like, it's not what it looks like. Like I'm not like that. Like I'm just so regular. But I just want you to realize that these influencers like work goes into it. It's strategized, it's thought about, and it's not as glam as it may look on the front end. If I'm being honest with myself, I don't really want to work out today, but I just drank a Celsius and it feels illegal to just like sit here with all this energy in me and not work out. I need to like express that energy and get it out. And what are we gonna wear today? Um, okay, I'm gonna go with these Amplify mini shorts and this gray Gymshark top. Does it happen to you when your self tanner is on day like four or five that it starts coming off and you just get like dry and itchy. It doesn't matter how many times I moisturize, but uh, once that tan starts coming off, ugh, I just feel nasty, bro. I need to exfoliate at some point today or something, but let's get into these hot gym clothes. Woo! This happens to me so often, but I'll do the 12, 3, 30, and then I'll want to do some weights, but then it's so hard for me to motivate myself to like actually get off my phone and like start lifting the weights. I mean, to be honest, when I'm on my own, all I really do is 12, 3, 30, and then some sort of weights for my butt, because that's literally all I care about. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I don't want to. I at all at all never ever take a break when you're working out or else you're gonna get hooked on the phone and you're not gonna want to like you don't stay in the flow but let's get this bread baby in the court documents that were obtained by the daily mail in the court documents tristan admitted that marley promised him a quote birthday surprise the court documents that they did have relations that night a couple of times and once in the morning and this is where in the court documents tristan thompson claims that the relationship ended I've been so excited to try these, and tonight is the night. I am such a hoe for this Old Janeiro body moisturizer. I know it's like hit or miss. I know some people love that smell, and some people think it smells terrible. I very much love the smell of the bum bum cream. And I found out recently that I have the shampoo and conditioner, and I smelled it, and it smells the same as the bum bum cream. I just want to wash my hair with it and see if it's any good, but like how exciting is that? I was going to save these for travel, because they're travel size, but I couldn't wait. Also, no judgment here. Let me know in the comments how many times a week you wash your hair because I used to wash my hair religiously, once a day. And I don't know what clicked in me, but I wash my hair <laughs> not as frequently. I'm just gonna leave it at that, but give me your number in the comments. Just asking for a friend. I'm gonna need to do a whole exfoliating situation right now because I'm so itchy from this self tanner. It is not a vibe. I don't know if you know this or not, um, but you're supposed to exfoliate three days before applying your self tanner. Because what happens is if you exfoliate day of putting on your tanner, your skin's gonna like try to regenerate itself and then the tan's gonna go away quicker. So you need to give it a good three days. Uh, do I ever give it three days? No. But I'll probably exfoliate today and do the tan tomorrow. I'm so looking forward to the shampoo and conditioner. I just hope it's everything I dreamed of. <laughs> 